It's 650. Late last week, a Moorhead State University professor died in an incident at Mid Lake Marina. Now the campus community is remembering his life and what he meant to students, faculty and staff. LAX 18's Rachel Richardson spoke with campus leaders about the professor's legacy there and in the community. This week, Moorhead State University's campus continues to mourn the loss of 71-year-old Dr. Gary LaFleur of Frankfurt, who passed away last Thursday. This, this strikes home really deeply when, when you lose a, a family member like this. Last week, the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife reported that LaFleur fell off his boat at the ramp at Midlake Marina. Attempts were made to rescue him from the water, but were unsuccessful. Here at Moorhead State, Dr. LaFleur was an associate professor of strategic communication. He's been teaching for the last 50 years and was at Moorhead State for more than 30 years. And Dr. LaFleur was just, you know, all absorbed in that. He was a speaker himself and was very well known for that. Dr. LaFleur taught on this campus for several decades, and now colleagues are remembering the mentorship that he offered students. He was very outgoing, very uh, much always in discussion small group discussions. This instructor says Dr. LaFleur will be remembered most for the impact he had on students. You know, I think uh, Gary would prefer to be remembered as uh, a statesman and, uh, you know, a, a great mentor to students. And uh, he really cherished the role he had working with with young people. A scholarship fund has been started in Dr. LaFleur's honor for MSU students studying strategic communications. Moorhead state leaders say Dr. LaFleur's decades long impact won't soon be forgotten. I think just the, the impact that somebody like this uh, has had on our students. Uh, people will take some of those memories and the things that he taught them uh, throughout their career and their life. And I think that's really important. Remembering a life and a legacy in Moorhead, Rachel Richardson. LAX 18 News.